Nussbaum has said you might need an extra blanket. Certainly you need a sweater in the morning. Definitely need that sweater out there. Now you're not a fan quite yet of the cooler temperatures. You've been still a little bit warmer weather. Tomorrow a little bit warmer than today. I will we can promise you that. But right now, downtown for BJCC camera, it's starting to get a little on the cool side. We're the warm spot here in Birmingham at 55 degrees with those light easterly winds. Dry, comfortable air greeting us this evening as well. But you can see it's 45 from Jasper Coleman. Gatson at down to 47. 48 Talladega and Asheville with 51 Tuscaloosa to Clanton. Uh, Alabaster not bad at 53 degrees, but it is a clear night out there. We don't have the clouds like we did last night, helping to kind of act like a blanket, keeping those temperatures up a little bit. They were stubborn and it took forever to get out of here. Now they have cleared out thanks to this area high pressure. When you have high pressure coming in, you have sinking air and it clears everything out. And so when you have a clear sky at night and you have a calm winds out there, which we do in this time of year, you can get some pretty chilly temperatures. And indeed, that's what we're talking about this evening. So you'll see temperatures by 11 o'clock at 51 here in Birmingham, falling to about 46 by 7 a.m. before rebounding quickly to 53 by 9 a.m. But overall tonight down to 46 from here to Tuscaloosa, Jasper Coleman, 41 degrees, same for Asheville Gadsden. And again, some of the cooler valley spots may try to get in the upper 30s tonight. Far cry from the 54 we should be this time of year for lows. And then tomorrow, maybe headed out to the pumpkin patch. Maybe some of the kids are going on a field trip. Well, we're looking at 10 a.m. temperatures around 6 60 degrees by 2 o'clock. We're at 70 degrees in the afternoon high tomorrow. 73 from Birmingham back to Alabaster Fayette back into Hamilton over toward the Anniston area. So pretty comfortable weather for us still below that average high of 76 for this time of year. Now looking ahead into Thursday, we will see the chance of rain increasing. Not much though, 20%. That's going to be later on in the evening hours by dinner time and then continuing overnight into Friday. And that's when next cold front comes in before it clears out heading into the weekend. So look for clouds to build up during the day on Thursday. There you see by 7 o'clock starting to see some of the rain out there. Maybe a clap of thunder possible. That'll continue overnight into Friday morning for the morning commute. And then shortly thereafter, we'll get that rain out of here. And then by Friday evening for the high school football games looking good. We dry out another week. Little front's going to move through as we get throughout Saturday and Saturday night. Could bring us a few clouds overnight Saturday into Sunday, but really not much rain with the system. A tenth to a quarter of about an inch of rain. That's all we're looking at across the area. So Looking at warmer temperatures as we get to Wednesday and Thursday at 73 down a little bit with that rain on Friday, but then over in the weekend looks pretty nice. Actually, no cold there behind this front 73 71 degrees lows will be a little chilly in the upper 40s, but as we head into the middle of next week, temperatures back into the middle 70s So actually looking very nice heading into next week. We'll stay with us to 19 our time More coming up right after this.